Early in the morning of September 26, the body of a young Muslim motorcycle taxi driver was found in Bongi, the capital of the Central African Republic. Armed Muslim self-defense groups incited and angry at the death of the motorcycle taxi driver launched reprisal attacks. <laughs> The neighborhoods most affected were those that border the Muslim enclave in Kilometer Sank. Predominantly Christian anti Balaka militia then responded. Over 400 people were injured in the wave of sectarian violence that lasted for five days. At least 250 homes were destroyed. The violence was so brutal that many fled their homes. The UN has reported that approximately 37,000 people sought refuge at displacement camps across the city. As the chaos spread, an estimated 600 prisoners escaped from the capital's prison, the largest in the country. According to the government's own statistics, at least 77 people were killed in the fighting. We've documented at least 30 people who were deliberately targeted. They were stabbed to death, their throats were slit, they were shot. This includes women and the elderly. This number is probably higher because there are still people unaccounted for. UN peacekeepers and the interim government need to urgently improve their efforts to protect civilians in the capital. Disarming fighters and local defense groups must be a priority as well as bringing to justice those responsible for this latest violence.